What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Elevator Life, the show where we're talking everything that has to do with entrepreneurship and doing business in China. In today's episode, we talk about one of the most popular topics in all of our communities, and that is how to sell in China. This is obviously the largest consumer base in the world, and it's growing. The middle class is really, really coming up, and everyone wants to know, how can I make money there? How can I sell my products? So in this episode, we go into the most important things you have to know if you're going to do just that. One of the most popular questions we get is how do I penetrate the world's biggest marketplace? Everybody asks us how do we sell product X, I want to import product Y, how do we get our goods into China? Well it's funny, a lot of people will actually be like, hey can you do this for me? <laughs> you know, they, they seem to think that because they have control of some kind of product or they know of some kind of product that it's as simple as, oh yeah, don't worry, we're in China, we can easily do it for you. <laughs> But that's just obviously not how it works. And they're missing the first part of sales, the first part of how do you move any kind of product. And so we really want to bring it back to that. How do you sell any kind of product, right? Especially in China. Of course. And the most important thing in the global market, in the Chinese market, understanding your market. Is there a need in the market? Is this something that the market wants? Is the market asking for it? Mm -hmm. Does the market, is there already a, a part of the market that exists that you could take a little piece of? Or is your product irrelevant? In the exactly. Market, you know, and that's really important to understand. Well, also, I'll add on to that a little bit. It's important to know, okay, not only do they want this product, like you'll get a lot of people say, you know, wine was growing a lot. We got a lot of emails about wine, um, milk powder, yep. stuff like this. Uh, so that's on the surface of them. They know, oh, wow, people want it here. But why do they want it? Yeah. Who are the kinds of people that are wanting it and how are they buying it? How are they going about buying it? Yeah, exactly. And which countries are they buying it for and why those countries? Yeah. So obviously to sell in China, the same rules apply. Like you just said, you got to know the consumers exactly. and why they do things. Exactly. So that's the overbearing rule number one. Understand the market, understand the consumers. And now we're going to tell you the three differences in China compared to the rest, maybe the Western market, let's say, that you have to be prepared for. Yeah, three three starting differences. I mean, there's a there's a lot of differences. Yeah, these are the key ones to pay attention to, but there's yeah. tens of hundreds. Just want to bring up three, okay? Yeah. First one is the Chinese, we call it the Chinese yes. Um, it's very hard to get through sometimes, or to, I guess, really see what the other person means and what they're capable of and what they're actually responding to your question. Is that truthful or are they kind of just throwing up some kind of smoke. And so, you know, we'll, we've been in a lot of negotiations where it's kind of like, can you do that? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> when we, but I mean, that brings it back to not understanding the market. We thought, boom, that's awesome. We got it. Yep. You know, even to the point where we almost counted that deal done, but months wore, wore on, months wore on. It's like, oh no, can't actually do that. Wasn't going to, it's called the Chinese yes. And because a lot of everyone knows how important face is here, mm -hmm. you know, that that it brings it a lot back to that. Just not wanting to say out loud, oh I can't do that. I'm sorry I can't do that. I'll never admit that. Exactly. It's just easier to be like, yep, of course I can do that. But you, it's your job, the person selling, to understand that. Literally take that as a single piece of salt, a single grain of salt. That yes is pretty irrelevant. You gotta keep digging. You yep. gotta keep digging and you gotta keep digging. Yep. Uh, number two is the lack of information. They're very guarded. Mm -hmm. You would maybe call it deceptive, but not in too negative of a light, but indirect. There's no, there's no direct answer. There's no direct response. Like we just said, well, no, you'll never get a no, but that yes, does that mean yes today? Ne yes, next month? Yes, next year? There, there, there's no just straightforward response to what you're asking. and. I love it when we meet people from all over the world who come here and they say, this place is a land of smoke and mirrors. It's just, I, I was told yes, and then he disappeared, and now he's saying maybe I can't get a straight answer from this guy. And that's something you run into a lot here in China. Yeah, the, the, the straight answer also, um, you know, it, it's crazy too, because if you've been in these situations, you know exactly what we're talking about. Um, but the longer you're here and the longer you really learn and develop with the market, the more you can see through it and it, the more it doesn't really bother you, Great way to you kind of realize, oh, okay, 
Now, let's keep digging, let's keep going, let's keep going. And a lot of it, like what he was talking about, you can't get a straight answer, a lot of it comes back to the negotiation mm -hmm. um, tactics that they use. Uh, they're uh, one that we talked about before the episode, the idea of, oh, I'm not the boss, I can't make a decision, even though he might be the boss when you first meet him. Mm -hmm. Him going, I'm not the boss, I don't know, uh, I, I'll have to ask about this. Yeah. Um, or having one of his employees negotiate with you. So, even if you're angry, you can't get angry with him because he's not the one making the decisions. Mm -hmm. It's the deflection. That's very, very common here. That was a great way where you just see through it. It's just, it's always going to be cloudy, but with your more experience you have, the waters get less murky and you kind of, you're able to navigate and know who's worth the time and who isn't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Third, the time that it takes to do business here. The, this is important extremely important for everyone to realize that's gonna do business here and one thing that really pops up in my mind is why it's so important is it will it will really drive a lot of uh, foreigners that are doing business here to get angry mm -hmm. okay why is this taking so long what is going on oh they're so bad at what they do all these kind of statements but it really comes out of no they this is how they operate yep they do operate this slow um, and for certain reasons, a lot of it, again, goes back to negotiating and it goes back to the way they do business and how they get to know you before business even starts and all that. You know a lot about oh, yeah. that. Absolutely. This can be years, years in the yeah. making. Some of it still is. We're still talking to people we were talking to in 2012 and one day maybe we'll do something. We, you don't focus on it anymore. Yeah. But that's always just their their way of doing business. Like you said, a lot of people will get angry, they'll, they'll throw a fit. One, that makes you look stupid. And, and two, you're never gonna change the way they do it here. Mm -hmm. They say we're modernizing, we're changing, they are, but everybody always resor um, resorts back to their roots and the Chinese roots. This, how, how do they know you? How long have they known you? How's the relationship? It really is a very, very time consuming business. And a lot of people think you show up, you, you give sample A, they try it, they buy it. No way. You know, well, that, it depends yeah. on if you're someone that they're really close with and they've worked with for a long yeah, time, then they will buy true. it. Yeah, but if it's, if it's your first meeting, I'm saying, oh, you, go, of course, you, know, you for go sure. sit down, there's no one and done, let's do this. It's let's meet, then there's tea and coffee and dinner and drinks and who knows what. But the point is, very time consuming. Well, you know, it's like the analogy in the West, you have conference rooms. You go meet in a conference room to talk about business mm -hmm. and hopefully get business done. Here it's, okay, we'll meet at Hot Pot or we'll meet at a KTV. Yeah. We'll hang out. We won't talk business. Yeah. And then we'll do it again. And then we'll do it again. And then, oh, wait, okay, come to my office. We're not going to finish the business. We'll, yeah. we'll kind of talk about it. And then we'll go out to eat afterwards. Yeah. That'll be great. And, you know, <laughs> that's, that's really, like, the difference um, yeah. that exists. Absolutely. It's just very time-consuming, and you, you have to be ready to adapt to this culture. And if you're not, then you, the odds of success here are not going to be very great for you. So adapt to the market and learn how it works. Yeah, so number one? Mm -hmm. The Chinese, yes. Number two? Will be no direct information, very indirect. Number three? A lot of time, a lot of time, commitment, and investment. Okay, so guys, this doesn't mean that you can't sell here. Mm -hmm. uh, it, does, it doesn't mean we haven't sold here very successfully. People do do it really successfully, but again, I wanna bring back to the point, it's all about knowing your market. And obviously, if you don't know your market, you're gonna need to find someone who really does, okay? Mm -hmm. And there are certain keys to really doing well in this marketplace. Absolutely. So, guys, that's, that's basically, We've done well on that one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you know anyone who could benefit from this information, make sure you share it with them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to know more about doing business and the opportunities here in China, feel free to go download our ebook at enterchina.co. Cheers, everyone.